The Canadian 24-hour movement guidelines for children and youth recommend that children ages 5 to 17 years accumulate at least 60 minutes per day of moderate to vigorous physical activity, spend no more than 2 hours per day in recreational screen time, and obtain 9 to 11 hours of uninterrupted sleep per night. Studies have shown that children who meet all three movement behavior recommendations have better cognitive function, lower odds of obesity, better dietary patterns, and enhanced quality of life than children who do not meet any of the recommendations. This evidence suggests that when children are physically active, limit their screen time, and get a good night's sleep, they tend to have better health outcomes. But what about children's impulsive behavior? How does meeting the 24-hour movement guidelines relate to children's tendency to blurt things out or engage in risky behavior? Dr. Michelle Guerrero and colleagues from the Healthy Active Living and Obesity Research Group at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario asked this question in their pediatrics article entitled 24-Hour Movement Behaviors and Impulsivity. They examined data from over 4,500 children who provided self-report scores across eight domains of impulsivity. These domains assess things like a child's tendency to not finish tasks and to act rashly in negative emotional states. Results showed that children who met all three movement behavior recommendations scored more favorably on five of the eight domains than children who did not meet any recommendations, meaning they were less impulsive. Interesting, right? There's more. Children who met the screen time and sleep recommendations scored more favorably on all eight domains of impulsivity than children who did not meet any recommendations. These findings suggest that limiting screen time and longer sleep duration may enhance the prevention of impulsivity-related disorders. So where do scientists go from here? Well, some limitations of this work should be addressed, like using longitudinal studies to determine whether the movement behaviors can lead to better impulse control, or using objective measures of physical activity, like wearable devices, to reduce measurement error associated with subjective assessments. Want to know more about this study or other research conducted by scientists at HALO? Then visit us at haloresearch.ca and on Twitter at HALO Research.